The world we live in has changed a lot due to technological information. For a simple wheel invention to modern computers, human beings have developed tremendously. With the advent of computers, many tasks become easier and automatic, but also allow humans to become more and more dependent on computer systems in a way that nowadays it is impossible for a country to develop without it. That's why modern countries are in a race to take the lead from others in this field. In this respect, many countries have already begun a race for quantum dominance. Nations are becoming more secretive about their capabilities as technological advancements continue to progress. China is leading this race because it's putting billions of dollars into quantum technologies. Now before we get ahead of ourselves, first of all, as always, welcome back to the YouTube Let's Get Techie. I'm your host Luke, and in today's video we're going to talk about China's advancements in quantum computers. China is going to shock the world with its new quantum computer advancements. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why not go ahead and do that now? And if you haven't already, hit the bell icon to make sure you get an update about every single video we upload. Now getting back to the video, a group of Chinese researchers has developed the world's most powerful quantum computer, which is capable of completing at least one task 100 trillion times more quickly than the world's fastest supercomputers. China has taken the lead in the race to practical quantum computing, which has shattered a record for solving complex problems. In 2019, Google announced that its 53-qubit Sycamore processor had finished a task in 3.3 minutes that would have taken a conventional supercomputer at least two and a half days to accomplish. According to reports, China's 66-qubit Zhu Chongji, two quantum processor that was able to complete the same task one million times faster in October of last year. Together with the Shanghai Institute of Technical Physics and the Shanghai Institute of Microsystem and Information Technology, a group of researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences Center for Excellence in Quantum Information and Quantum Physics were responsible for the development of that processor. The Chinese government under Xi Jinping has spent $10 billion on the country's National Laboratory for Quantum Information Science. This demonstrates China's significant commitment to the field of quantum computing. According to Live Science, the nation is also a world leader in the field of quantum networking, which involves the transmission of data which has been encoded through the use of quantum mechanics over great distances. Classical computers cannot compete with the capabilities of quantum computers when it comes to certain tasks due to particular mathematics that governs the quantum world. Quantum computers perform calculations using qubits, which can simultaneously exist in many states. In contrast to classical computers which perform calculations using bits, which can only have one or two states, typically represented by a one or a zero. Because of this, quantum computers solve problems significantly faster than traditional computers. But despite the existence of theories that have been around for decades and predict that quantum computing will outperform classical computing, the construction of practical quantum computers has proven to be a great deal more difficult than we thought. We don't know how far Chinese researchers have gotten in the field of quantum computing, but the Pentagon's 2021 report on China, which was given to Congress, says that China keeps trying to take the lead in key technologies that have a lot of military potential. China's 14th five-year plan, which is an economic plan, gives priority to quantum technology and other new fields. According to a report given to Congress, by 2030, China plans to have a global quantum encrypted communications capability that can be used with satellites. According to Heather West, a senior research analyst at the Market Research for IDC in the state of Massachusetts in the United States, quantum could assist in the detection of a variety of military vehicles, including stealth aircrafts and submarines. She told VOA that classical algorithms can be broken by quantum computing in order to check up on military on another country. The China Daily News website, which is run by the Chinese government, reported in September that the country had accomplished a series of breakthroughs in quantum technology, including the world's first quantum satellite, a 2,000-kilometer quantum communication line between Beijing and Shanghai, and the world's first optical quantum computing machine prototype. However, the military application was not mentioned in the China Daily. As a part of military civil fusion development strategy, China has in the past alarmed other nations by combining civilian and military infrastructures. This makes it difficult for the rest of the world to predict when academic research will become an asset of the People's Liberation Army PLA. According to the report by Boz Allen Hamilton, many of the leaders of organizations and the chief information security officers of those organizations lack insight into the practical importance of quantum computing and how to manage risks related to them. They do not know how and when the technology might become useful, and how it might shape the behavior of China. 
which is described as a persistent cyber adversary of government and commercial organizations globally and a major developer of quantum computing technology. According to the database of globalfirepower.com, the People's Liberation Army operates what is considered to be the third strongest armed forces in the world, behind only those of the United States and Russia. The growth of the PLA Navy in contested sea areas is a particular source of concern for Japan, Taiwan and other Southeast Asian countries. Since 2019, the US government in Washington has sent more military ships into the same seas to keep a closer eye on what China is doing. According to Chen Yi Fang, an assistant professor of diplomacy and international relations at Tem Kang University in Taiwan, Taiwan, the United States or the European Union are likely targets for China to launch quantum computing attacks as long as countries do not have robust quantum cryptography to defend. Taiwan is the only country in the world that currently uses quantum computing. China is already thought to have attacked Taiwan online. Taiwan is an island with its own government, but Beijing says it's part of their territory. Our information-heavy and internet-reliant society could come under attack if quantum computers were developed to the point where they could exploit the strangeness of subatomic physics to perform incredible feats of computation. Quantum computers have the ability to break any code which can reveal the secrets of nations or determine who will be the first to crack the code. Because of this effect, countries are trying to get quantum advantage over each other every single day. If China were to develop a quantum computer that actually works without revealing anything, as they have already done, it would be a nightmare scenario for the US national security. This lets China decrypt secure communications and get a lot of intelligence information from the US. When such a big surprise comes from China, it's hard to figure out how it will affect things. This makes it hard for the US intelligence community to figure out what's actually going on. Also, it is difficult to overstate the amount of potential for disruption that is represented by quantum computing. The modern methods of encryption, which were developed in the 1970s, rely on the mathematical complexity of their algorithms to detect hackers. The data is encrypted, but it is possible to decipher it using large numbers that are referred to as keys. The sender and the receiver are the only people who have access to these keys. Without the key, deciphering the code would take so much longer, even with the most advanced computers in the world, that it would be impossible to do. However, on the other hand, a quantum computer would render the currently used encryption methods obsolete. Quantum computers utilize a peculiar property of subatomic particles, calling the ability to exist in more than one state at a time as an alternative to the traditional method of manipulating bits. Edwin Schrödinger, a prominent figure in the field of physics, is credited with coining the phase superposition of states to describe this phenomenon. He compared it to a cat that is both dead and alive at the same time. A photon is a particle of light that can be made to simultaneously represent the values 0 and 1 as well as other values. Since a quantum computer can control these particles, it can do a lot more calculations at the exact same time. This makes it much faster at solving harder problems like breaking down encryptions. China has made quantum computing a strategic imperative. In spite of the fact that China has been accused of stealing technologies in the past, the country's efforts to develop quantum computing are entirely homegrown and sizable. It is said that they spent $400 million to build new research facilities in the province of Anhui. Last but not least, quantum computers have both benefits and hazards. The country having it will benefit from it exploiting others in a more advanced way. It's now up to the nations and China to decide how far they will take this technology. Well, that's all for today's video. If you liked this video, always remember to give it a thumbs up and hey, if you didn't do it up top, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, I will see you guys in the next video and as always have a wonderful time. Thank you again.